with Steve Chappell from Sea Motion. Hi, Steve. Hi, Ian. Hi, thanks I believe for inviting me. Yeah, it was good to see you. It's a good spare the time, first day of the show it as is, well, isn't yeah. it? So it's, it's always there. And there's quite a few people, which is good. It's a good turnout for, yeah, a, yeah the start yeah. of the show. Yeah. Yep, definitely. Yeah. Now you've got a couple of new products behind you there. Oh, I have, yes. Uh, are these quite new, are they? They are. Um, I mean, it's a new lens control system that we developed. Uh, it's taken almost two years' development right. time. We first launched it at IBC last year, yeah. uh, but we're now ready for shipping. So we've got the first systems are actually out with our resellers and they've been out on locations, yeah. getting feedback just to make sure we can optimize the system. So oh, course, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we start shipping the end of this month. So yeah. our, once everyone's back from the IBC and Cynic yeah, excitement, we can actually get the first systems out to the, yes. the pre-orders that we've had and we've been taking since April. Um, but yeah, just to give you a quick run through what the products are. So this is the C Pro motor. Yeah. Um, it's based on the popular Seaforce Mini, slightly larger, a lot quicker. So it's got a brand oh, new right. gearbox on there. Right. Um, very short limitation with the uh, latency, so you, just, you cannot see if there's any delay or lag when you're pulling focus. So it's much faster yeah. than any of the other motors. Um, so we've got up to 14 RF channels, so it gives you a little bit broader spectrum to separate yeah. when you've got multiple systems. But the main thing is the size, the speed, um, and, and the reaction. Light. Yeah, it's a very yeah, lightweight that's motor. A, that's, yeah. That's a good, yeah, that is. So it's not going to cause any headaches for anyone, does no. it? No. So, you know, it, 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 it's made any camera basically, it can make it lightweight, you don't need an external motor box. So uh, the benefit of having camera control as well, we've got a cam interface. Yeah. Uh, and an L-Bus, which is a C-Motion protocol that allows you to daisy chain additional motors. Oh, right. So it can be, although you've got one motor here, yeah. it can become a three motor system very easily. Right, yeah. Uh, but of course, to control that, we have our brand new hand unit. That does look the business, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> a little bit of development has gone in here. Yeah. Um, so it's a C-Pro line. Uh, the hand unit here we've designed to be very ergonomic for, for operators. Yeah. Um, it's an appendicular shape, so when you're holding it, your wrist remains straight. So a lot of other hand units, your wrist is at an angle. So a long day shooting, yeah. you can actually get fatigue and strains. But in this position here, your wrist stays straight and it follows through the, yeah. the line of the hand unit. Uh, we've got. Uh, interface screen here so we can change through the menu buttons with a scroll wheel so this is a unique feature oh, we have right, here yes. so if you're wearing gloves and you can't go onto the touch screen you can actually you can use the, yeah yes. you go through the menu uh, and a later software will allow me to do a fourth axis so if i'm using a range finder such as our c finder or right, a yeah. cine tape or udm we can actually motorize that with a c-force motor um, in, in line and we can adjust the panning or tilting of the of the range finder as well um, we've got some other unique features on here. So we've got mechanical limits, as you get for quite a few hand units now. But feedback from uh, focus pullers, they're always saying, you know, oh, it'd be good if we could do this. We've got one called the panic button. So if your actor misses their mark, or if you need to shoot slate and you don't want to keep adjusting them, you can simply push down and override your mechanical limits without keep adjusting them. So it saves a lot of time in messing around. Exactly. Um, we can create lens files on here, so we can save up to 50 lens files. Coming later in the year, around December, we'll have one that makes it LDS compatible, Cook Eye Data compatible. At the moment, it's the initial stage of the release. Uh, it's data that we create. So we name the lens, we give it motor positions, and that will save into the system. Got a very simple standard USB port here yeah. for data transfer for the lens files, uh, for software updates, but also another thing from operators, if your batteries go flat and you're on location in the middle of nowhere, you can use a power bank with a standard USB cable, oh, really? plug it in excellent. and keep like, shooting. Like just any old one. Yep. Excellent. Yeah, so we can yeah. keep operating yeah. Yeah, when the batteries yeah. run flat. Wireless range between the system is around 700 to 1,000 meters, depending on region. So we've got around, I think it's 20 regions now, which all have their own regulations. So that's all controllable through the hand units. Um, but yeah, so it's improved wireless yeah. range as well as speed uh, and reaction. That's fantastic. So people are quite excited about this. They, you know? they are, yeah. We, we've got around 100 pre-orders to get through to start going yeah. the end of, uh, say, yeah. the end of this month, so in the next coming yeah. weeks. Um, and it'd be ready, available from yeah, most of our resellers yeah. internationally. So, uh, yeah, wherever you're from, yeah, it's going to be a system that's legally compatible, yes. which yeah. is also quite key. Yeah. Um, but the ergonomics and the functionality. Um, and it looks pretty really robust to me. I mean, all your kit is. So I yeah, I mean, it's to built to last. Yeah. Um, it is rugged. I mean, it's, it's water resistant to a, to a certain degree as well with all of the, everything yeah. enclosed. Um, but special new feature as well for December will be camera control so this is something we'll offer as a license later on uh, from December time so for 
ARRI cameras and RED cameras, you won't just have start-stop, but you'll be able to change numerous camera settings as well. Um, and networking, a lot of people want to separate the iris control, so we can have two hand units with a license, you can just activate and say, right, okay, the director's got the iris, you've got focus and zoom, or however yeah. you want the configuration yeah. to be. Fantastic. So, how much development has gone into that? You know, is this, we're talking years of work? Yeah, so it's been almost, it, almost two years of development, yeah. I mean, uh, part of the design, a lot of people that have known C-Motion since the founding of 2002, the first hand unit we had was the Copra, the ergonomics from the hand grip are very similar. So this was based on the original hand yeah, unit without the rubber grip, and it, it works, yeah. exactly. We've expanded having, uh, we've gone a little bulbous here because of having the, the touchscreen interface makes a little difference. This yeah. wasn't obviously available all those years ago. Yeah. So that gives you a, a much more advanced uh, interface to operations functions uh, and lots of features that this system yeah. offers. Fantastic. So. What other things have you got? Obviously, I'm sure there's a few. Others. Yeah, I mean, we do another option. Instead of with the motor, we've got a, a small cam in um, that interfaces with the red cameras and the EF mount, so you don't need to have any uh, big motor on there or big motor box. Yeah. Um, so the EF lens control. Uh, we've been working with Cinefade. I believe you'll be having an interview uh, yeah. with Oliver a little later. Uh, this is where the polarizer and variable ND uh, through the C-Motion integration allows you to change the depth of field while maintaining a constant exposure. Which um, is, which yeah, it's a, it's a, a novel like, cinematic effect is the yeah, way that we describe yeah. it. But it's yeah, you describe it earlier on. It does sound. Yeah. But we also uh, yeah, range. We have a range finder, C Finder three, which is a laser range finder. That measures around 120 to 150 meters. Implemented with lens data, gives us a very quick and efficient uh, autofocus yeah. functionality. Yeah. And other accessories using the LBRAS protocol. We've got a pan bar zoom, steady zoom. I mean, there's a lot of features that we'd like to yeah. show everyone. Yeah, come to the booth and yeah, uh, yeah, yeah experience so emotion. A lot of what I see as well is there's more data sharing going on, isn't there? You know, lens manufacturers are more happy to share the profile and the, yeah. all the everything about their lens. So that because That's they, great. Yeah. It, it, you know, it, it's for a while it was very much this is our propriety IP. You know, I think we're going to keep this. Whereas yeah, it's a lot more open now. Uh, I mean, the, the way we developed our lens data has always been, it doesn't matter what lens you've got, and there are uh, lenses out there 30 years old, so it's before all this electronic data was available. So we rely on a digital, digital encoder, and we assign that to the value, so we can literally work with any lens. Yeah. But opening up to the ARRI LDS and the Cook Eye data, that information is already available. So we just need to have that into the user interface, yeah. transfer the files. Uh, and then you know you've got manufacturer's yeah. specified lens data instead of relying on motor encoders uh, for the position. Brilliant. Well, thanks for time. Hope the show goes oh, well. You. I'm sure you're going to be busy. I'm sure we will be. <laughs> <laughs> Better run back quick. Really. Yeah. So yeah, well, I'll say this one's still actually connected actually to the booth. So <laughs> while I'm doing this, I am changing uh, the lens on right, the booth at the moment. On? So, yeah. yeah. Well, thanks for time. Uh, thank we'll you very much. Right. See you again. All right. Right. Be a CX mode, probably. Yeah, I'll yeah. certainly be there. Thank, thank you, you very much, Ian. Cheers. Yeah.